Hi guys, welcome to this video about how to create a photo slideshow on Cyberlink Power Director. Here on the right side we have the Power Director and on the left side we have some pictures which I've been doing last week or so. So the thing is when we look at the Power Director there is actually nothing to see about how we can do a slideshow of course we can drag and drop uh, pictures and video clips into the timeline and then create a video on our own we can do everything manually there's no problem but of course it would be nice to have something more automated and uh, more fancy and um, it is here it is here it's just somehow not visible or not good visible when you go to the menu everywhere you cannot find everything but if you uh, mark one picture i mean if you drag one picture or more then you will see it so now i'm going to the folder where i have the picture make control a so everything is marked and i drag everything into the timeline of course it's always a little bit a problem uh, to be on the left side i hope maybe if i'm here it will work that everything is on the left side so it, i don't have to put everything uh, to the left so seems it uh, already worked so the thing is now since everything is here you you see there uh, in a sudden the uh, some buttons uh, magically appeared or somehow magically appears i make this thing a little bit bigger because we don't need the picture source anymore and we have the button slideshow and we have the duration so we start with the duration we can um, set this in different menus but it's not needed uh, since we already have it here so we can reduce so in my case i won't just go to about five seconds i make five zero and so as you can see that it already affected all the pictures of course they have to be selected you can select maybe uh, yeah half of it and then change the duration for half of them that's no problem uh, or, or for single ones uh, yeah so uh, we have to mark them when we are finished with the duration we have to mark them again and click on slideshow that's the really central point of the thing and automatically we have a lot of options this is really huge this is uh, really awesome so it looks like we have at least 10 different options uh, cell highlight montage collage and so on we have absolutely uh, awesome uh, things so let's do uh, just the thing here we try with the camera i mean looks more like a photo book or something like that uh, we can also add uh, background music of course we can select that from local file or wherever you have them uh, so in my case i don't have something but it's 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 very easy to add this um, yeah so i go with the camera and we have also some preferences so if you have music you can fit uh, the photos to the music or fit the music to the photos means fit the photos to the music it, it will, so it would make the uh, whole uh, slideshow shorter so it takes the length of the music and may, reduces the time uh, which every photo is being displayed so okay you can also uh, ha you have the option of timeline timeline order which means actually um, it comes from where you have where you had your pictures in your folder on your pc there are several options you have of course when we uh, we can make this a little bit bigger then we go to 
details and we have several options we can order this by date or type or size or we can add uh, different things like date created modified and dimension and uh, uh, yeah whatsoever uh, a lot of different things uh, so but i'm happy with that now and i say okay and i click on next and it's now producing the uh, video but of course not the final review it's just a video it's in the it's like a, just a preview and you can look at it here or you can fast forward and see how it will look about this is really nice nice thing to uh, share online or with your friends or save or yeah whatever you, you you're planning to do uh, that looks really really nice so if you're happy with that you can click on next and then you have three options you can produce the uh, video right away from here that will create then the AVE, AVE or yeah whatever file you would like to have it um, or you can do the advanced editing I will show this to you later or you can create a disk I mean uh, that uh, with that you can burn the video on uh, a physical uh, CD-ROM or on a DVD-ROM so with the advanced editing it will bring the video to the timeline so we will lose the single picture so we click on that and it's saying that additionally uh, adding your created slideshow replaces the selected clips in the timeline so this is what happens then so it will already show the video in a single piece there is no way to change like the order of the pictures or anything like that but you can add now still uh, sound special functions uh, you can add transitions you can do whatever you want, want to do with like a normal clip like you can make fade in fade out something like that as so you can see here it starts with a cross or yeah whatever you want to do you can add uh, additional layers of pictures video clips sound whatever you want to do and then you go from there to produce and produce uh, your final uh, slideshow which is then also of course a video file so uh, that's it for now i hope i was able to help you a little bit with that if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about your things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time